Daniel, um, back home this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, I can't wait. It's been a long time. Didn't get to go back for Christmas, as you know. So uh, it's a long way from home, but I'm um, glad to get back up to my area. Yeah, of course. You um, you played for Newcastle as a youngster. Just yeah, tell us a bit yeah. about your uh, your past. Yeah, um, I spent about 12 years there, um, from 8 till 20. Um, failed to make the breakthrough to first team. Um, it's really hard um, when you get to that final stage. Played um, two years at reserve level um, with some good players who are still there now. Um, but it's stood me in good stead for um, the future. Yeah, how close do you think you were to making it in the first team? Because they do like to promote youngsters, don't they? Yeah, recently, yeah. Um, I think when I was there, the impetus was um, to get a lot of foreign, young foreign players. But, um, I mean, they've spent a lot of big money on young players who you've never heard of because they never actually made it. They were never as... Um, never that much better than what was already there and I think you're starting to, they're starting to see that now when they're bringing through the young English lads from the area. And how much publicity did Gateshead get as a football team in Newcastle when you've got those giants you know, on the doorstep? Yeah. Um, not so much as I think they probably deserve. Last year they were really good if anyone saw them. Um, the, way, the brand of football is uh, enjoying to watch which um, a lot of Newcastle fans took under the wing last year when Newcastle weren't doing so well and Gator had a, a, a good playoff run and I think they got about um, 9,000 for the, mm. the playoff semi. So um, I think people are starting to realise and take them as a legitimate team now. Have you been to their ground before? Because it's an athletics stadium as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've actually run there a few times doing athletics um, at sort of county level and, um, and beyond. So. Uh, I know that's the end really well, more the track than the pitch. Uh, what what distance did you do? Uh, 400 metres. Were you any good? Yeah, I went to the English schools, um, which is the national event uh, at 15 years old, um, finished uh, 12th in the country. Mm. What's it going to be like going back there as a, as a player now? Is it going to be weird? <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to the grass part, but uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll settle down and we'll play this stuff. And what can Rovers fans expect then? Are they going to be miles away from the pitch and all that? Yeah, yeah, you might, you might, um, might be a different atmosphere for the for the boys. Um, when you compare it to the men, where you can't hear yourself think, um, it'll be more like a training training game for us. But uh, we'll adapt to it. And does it feel any different this morning that you're top of the league? Uh, no, it just feels like business as usual. We um, go in, the boys are still smiling, um, and we go again on Saturday. And you must be smiling as well because it was your first season at the club. Um, you were in and out of the side, but mm. now you've established yourself. I think at right back and are playing really well. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully the gaffer sees it that way as well. Um, I've worked hard behind the scenes to um, sort of convince him that I should be in the team week in week out. Um, and I need to sort of carry on that and um, make it sort of impossible for them to drop me. Yeah, well, and of course, when Tom Lockyer might be available to go back at right back, you, you want to make that position your own and, and fight, fight off competition. Well, that's always been my aim. Um, you've got to, in football, sort of wait for your opportunity to get in. It might be through an injury or a, a suspension, um, but it's up to you once you've got the shirt to keep it. Mm. How many family and friends will be watching you on Saturday? Uh, I'll try and get as many complimentary tickets as I can, but knowing this league, uh, <laughs> uh, they may have to pay.